Yeah, I mean, he's still he's still hurt, so okay. he's uh, uh, getting treatment rather than making the trip. Yeah. Um, one of the things I know that notice when you look at the stats from the last couple games is that the three point shooting has been down. Do you guys like the looks that you're being, you've been getting, or is it just a matter of yeah. Yeah. yeah? We just have made shots. You know, the the shots have been there, and yeah, it's the same ball. shots that uh, that we've uh, we made over the course of the season. We just had shot the ball well the last you know three games, and that's been you know one of the problems, and that's been. Uh, the reason that we can't close out a game uh, is that you know you, you, you're going to have to make the plays that are available to you, and uh, we just didn't didn't make them. How much of an effect do you think that Meritich has of, not, of him not playing not only just the three-point shooting that he provides, but just you know the spacing and just well, when you out. lose a guy that's a good three-point shooter, and I don't care what the percentages say, you know when he's out there they're going to guard him. Uh, when you lose a guy like that. Then obviously the floor starts to shrink, and uh, uh, it makes it a little more difficult for uh, guys like AD and people like that. So. When you're watching film on Luca, is it easy to forget? Wow, this kid's still only 19. No, no, because I think you know uh, it, it's the way you play the game, and he played a game as if he's you know, and he's been a pro since he was 15 years old. So uh, I don't see any intimidation whatsoever. Uh, playing, you know, stepping and playing on this level right here. He, he's a confident guy. Uh, the thing that he is is that he's a really smart player. You know, he's got a great feel for the game. And, you know, and he's a very confident player. You know, I mean, the shot that he made the other night in Portland, he thought it was going in. Yeah. You know, I mean, so uh, when you play with that kind of, uh, you know, when you when you play with when you when you when you have that kind of confidence and you play with that kind of confidence, you know, you become a pretty good player. You know, and he's already. You know, obviously, way ahead of uh, where anybody thought he would be. You know, I mean, everybody thought he was going to be a great player. Everybody thinks it takes a little time, but you know, he's got such a great feel for the game that he stepped in and, uh, and done a great job. You've had each one here for a couple of years. What has he brought to your team? Uh, he's just been a real consistent guy. You know, every night you can pretty much uh, write down, you know, what he's going to have for you, and it comes pretty close. And then there's games where obviously. Uh, he gets it going where he's had he's already had three 30 point games this year uh, you know as a you know third or fourth option there's not many guys in the league that can say that they've had three 30 point games so uh, he's played well for us you know. and you guys added Wes Johnson what has he brought in terms of veteran well, presence and leadership? well that that's just what he's done and, and uh, he's linked and he's a great great team guy to have in the locker room he's been tremendous in the locker room so uh, it's one of those uh, deals where you know, you just get a good solid guy that's uh, always going to be great in your locker room, and, and you can use him in games whenever you want to. Well, Coach, what is your thoughts about the season that Derrick Rose is having? Derrick Rose? Yeah. He's playing great. You know, I mean, I think he's where a year or so ago everybody thought he was done. Uh, he's totally, you know, revived his uh, career, really, you know, and uh, everybody forgets now you're not talking about an old guy. You know? So uh, he's playing at a real high level. Uh, not as high as he did when he was MVP, but you know, from where he was to where he is now, uh, it's like an MVP season. And then, um, obviously, uh, Derek's been back what four games now. Um, what is your thoughts about you know just him, you know, his progression coming back? Um, oh, he. I mean, he, he, like I said, guys, he's playing at a real high level and he's playing great basketball. So uh, there's no reason to think that it's not going to continue.